Hello and welcome to our instructional series about using FXCM's REST API to automate your strategies using Python. My name is Charlie Graves and I will be your guide as we learn more about building algorithmic trading strategies. In this multi-part series we will dive in depth into how algorithms are created starting with the very basics. This video is a primer for our series and will help you prepare your computer so that you can follow along. If you're an experienced programmer or if you've already prepped your computer Feel free to jump ahead by clicking on the link to part one in the description below. Otherwise, let's begin. Installing Python and the necessary packages is a fairly straightforward process. To make things even easier, we'll be using the Anaconda distribution installer, which will install most of the packages that we need in order to use the REST API, including Python itself and the always useful Jupyter notebooks that we'll use later in this series. To do so, all that we need to do is visit www.anaconda.com forward slash download. As mentioned before, this tutorial will utilize the latest version of Python, which is currently 3.6. To download Anaconda, we'll simply click on the download button. After Anaconda has finished downloading, locate the file and double click on the installation wizard. The default settings in the installation wizard work well most of the time, but if you run into any issues, Anaconda has a great installation guide that we've linked to in the description of this video. Once Anaconda has finished installing, we'll launch the Anaconda Navigator by going to the Windows Start menu and selecting the Anaconda Navigator icon from the folder Anaconda 3. On this navigator window, we can see which packages have been pre-installed. By taking a look at Jupyter Notebook, we can see the blue launch button, which means that it's already installed for us. We can check on the other packages by clicking on the Environments tab. First, let's check on Pandas. Here we can see that Pandas has been installed because it has a green check mark. Next, let's check Requests. Requests is the same. We've already installed it. Finally, let's check on Socket.io. Here you can see that it didn't return any results, which means that Socket.io is not installed yet, so we need to do that manually. To install the Socket.io package, we'll want to go back to our Start menu and launch the Anaconda prompt. You can find the Anaconda prompt in the same folder as your Anaconda Navigator, which is the folder Anaconda 3. Click on that icon and launch the Anaconda prompt. From here, we can manually install packages that we'll need. For this, we'll type in the following. pip, that's P-I-P, space install, space dash U, space socket I-O, dash client. Hit enter. Here you can see that my system has successfully installed Socket.io. From there, we can close this window out. Now that everything has been installed, all that we need to do is navigate to www.fxcm.com and register for a free practice account by clicking on Practice Account in the upper right-hand corner of the web page. On the registration page, you will fill out your information and then click on Trade Now to generate your practice credentials. From here, we'll navigate to tradingstation.fxcm.com and we'll enter in our credentials. Once the platform is loaded, we'll click in the upper right-hand corner where our account ID is. From here, we'll click on Token Management and the Generate Token dialog box will come up. We'll need to enter our password one more time so that we can generate the REST API token. Once the token has be been generated, make sure that you keep it in a safe place because this token is unique to your account. But don't worry, if you ever do lose it, you can always generate a new token for your account and update your program to utilize the newly generated token. Now that everything is installed and we have our token, let's open up a Jupyter Notebook to make sure that everything is installed properly.
Now that we've installed everything, let's verify that everything was installed correctly. To do that, we need to open a Jupyter Notebook through our Anaconda prompt. To do that, click on the Start menu, then the Anaconda 3 folder, and then on Anaconda prompt. Once we have the Anaconda prompt up, we'll want to type in Jupyter Notebook. Once you've typed that in, click Enter. This will open in a new tab on your browser, and from here we want to make sure that we have Python 3 as the notebook type by clicking on Python 3. Now we have a blank Jupyter Notebook that we can execute Python code in. To check and make sure that all of the packages were installed properly, we're going to import them. To do that, we're going to type import pandas as pd. Then we're going to type import json, import requests, and finally, from socket.io underscore client, we're going to import socket.io. From here, click shift enter, and that will execute this line of code. Here we can see that we didn't receive any error messages, which means that it was able to import all of those packages, which also means we've installed them properly. And that's it. Our computer is now prepped and ready to connect to the FXCM REST API. In our next videos, we'll be utilizing this same Jupyter Notebook to learn how to establish a connection to the FXCM REST API server, authenticate with our demo account credentials, build a function to retrieve and display live streaming prices, and then create a strategy to execute orders based off of this live streaming data. If at any time you run into issues, please do not hesitate to visit our GitHub page or contact us at api at fxcm.com. Thank you for watching and have a great day.